Hello and welcome to another adventure here. We are continuing on this uh, Midwestern tour. Uh, as you can see, I'm at Effigy Mounds National Monument um, here in um, Iowa along the Mississippi River. Um, should um, I'll explain to you what an effigy mound is. You can see the little bear. So these are little mounds that the natives of the area built. Um, should be pretty cool. We'll check it out. A few hiking trails and stuff. So let's go check this out and I'll, I'll explain more of uh, what this is when, when we get inside. We can do the fire point loop trailhead. So there's multiple distance you can do. Um, you can do two two miles, three miles, four miles, or six miles round trip. I think we'll we'll do the one that goes three miles round trip from here uh, back. So I think that's the way we'll go. Um, that way we're not spending all day here hiking, but that we see uh, some of the uh, the major uh, uh, the major sites. So we'll see. Uh, these mounds, so these mounds were built by the natives. Now this was, uh, this area was considered a neutral land um, between all the uh, native cultures that lived here. So these were built by different, um, uh, by different cultures. They're not sure if they were, if they were communicating. And they say most, 90% uh, of these mounds are burial sites that they buried uh, the dead in it. So, Let's go check a look at these, and uh, it's, it should be a very unique uh, national monument here in the U.S., in Northern Iowa. All right, here's a good look at some of the mounds. Now, these are not the bear mounds. These are just, um, these are called three mounds. And like I mentioned, these are, they're pretty sure these are, 90% of these are barrier or barrier plots of, of some sort. Um, built, built by the natives in this area. Just a reminder that this is considered sacred ground, and the descendants are actually uh, of this culture are still living, and they still um, continue to honor the ancestors' spirit here in religious ceremonies on these sacred sites. So these sites are considered sacred. Um, so obviously no collecting of any artifacts or anything like that. So, uh, so yeah. So we'll definitely be you definitely want to be respectful, and we're just gonna look from afar and just um, just contemplate. You know what uh, uh, what these mounds mean, and why they're here, and um, you know what, uh, and more importantly, what it means to the uh, native people. So, let's uh, continue going. All right, here's some of the mounds here. This is uh, uh, supposed to be in the shape of a bear. Um, we should see a little bit better view otherwise, but. So these were considered um, ancient, uh, very, uh, very sacred, uh, very sacred ground. We're walking on here. So obviously we're not going to walk on the mound because that would be disrespectful. But I can zoom in a little bit. All right, it is extremely humid out here today. Like I am just sweating buckets. The temperature is actually not bad. It's probably in the uh, uh, high 70s, um, but it is, the humidity is out of control here. So uh, yeah, it's uh, very uncomfortable, but no bugs at least. So we will uh, we'll continue on this quest for the, eff for the effigy mounds. And, and hopefully I'm looking for like a good, uh, um, a good viewpoint we can see the mounds from up above so we'll see but we we'll definitely get some good views of the mississippi there's there's a couple um overlooks here at the end where we'll get a couple good good views of the mississippi so that's one thing we can look forward to uh, for sure so all right let's go see what else we can find here right, this is a little bear mound you can kind of see where uh, the uh, in the tastes are her feet there
kind of you can kind of see that how it's uh, shaped someone like an animal yeah here's a better here's a better vantage point you can kind of see it It's the Great Bear Mound. This one you can kind of see here. His, uh, his, uh, just the head, and this, and this the feet there, a foot there. So you can kind of see this one here um, a little bit better than some of the other ones. All right, yeah, it is extremely humid out. Um, yeah, we're just gonna go up here. We're not doing the whole. Six miles today, it's way too, uh, way too humid for that. So we'll just go up here, turn around and check out, check out the viewpoints. And then they do have a south, a south unit here, which is about a half mile down. So we'll go um, take a look at that for a minute. And then, uh, and then we'll move on to our next stop. But uh, it's a cool place, but uh, yeah, it's very, it's very uncomfortable with, uh, with the humidity. All right, so this trail is very well marked. We're gonna go down to the twin views. Um, there's another scenic view up that way, and then Hanging Rock, which is the which is the end of the trail, is another 1.7 miles. But uh, I'm not going to do that today because uh, it's just way it's way too humid. It, if the weather was a lot cooler, I would definitely go up that far. But not today. We'll, we'll go see the twin views, and we'll turn around, and there's uh, two more views back back the other way that we will check out. So we'll go down this way. Beautiful little forest here in uh, Iowa. We are in uh, northern Iowa, uh, right, right along the Mississippi, is where this uh, this uh, this monument is. All right, made it to the Twin Views. Oh, you can see the Mississippi. It looks like some sort of. Uh, Sand barge or like a, a beach in the middle of the river. That's interesting. Yeah, it definitely looks like some sort of uh, island in the Mississippi. Let me uh, let me zoom out. You can uh, take in the whole view. There's. There's the whole view. Look down, let's go over this way. You can, you can, you can look down that way. All right, that's the Mississippi. So across the way, oh, over there is the state of Wisconsin, which I set foot in. So that's 43 states for me. And then with the Illinois High Point, 25 High Points. So that's not too bad. Uh, but that's what we're looking at. So that's Mississippi, and then way across the other side there, that's uh, that's Wisconsin, on 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 the other side. So, yeah, pretty nice view. Pretty nice. View. There's a we'll go over and check out uh, the other one in a second. But uh, I'm gonna enjoy this for minutes. Try to cool down a little bit. It's a nice little breeze here. Man, I can't go how wild that is. Right in the middle of the Mississippi. There's boats, all sorts of boats down there. Yeah, it looks like a, uh, maybe that's because of the droughts and some of the water dried up.
looks like fun though. Definitely would be cool today because it is like, as I mentioned, it is good weather to uh, to to go take a dip. Everyone has the boats out there on the island. Yeah. This view is this view is pretty nice. You can see you can see farther out uh, to uh, to the north here of uh, the Mississippi. Yeah, that's pretty nice. There's our partiers over there. We had two pretty good lookouts. That's a cool kind of look down on the mounds. Walking towards the, uh, the fire lookout. <laughs> Up to this overlook up here, coming up, I can see the uh, overlooks coming up just past these mounds here. Oh yeah, a little, a little different view of the Mississippi. This is Fire Point. Now that's a view. That's looking south. Again, you have Wisconsin across the way. This side is Iowa. That's where we are. You can see all the boats down there. So this is actually the Upper Mississippi um, Recreation Area and Wildlife Preserve. That's why all these people are here, because this actually this actually is a uh, a, rec a recreation area for people to go and get out indoors, outdoors. So it's good. That's nice. 
nice to have this and it's obviously the river is obviously deep enough where you know the boats can just go back and forth up there. And you can see all the way down there. So that bridge down there, that is the bridge uh, I came across. Yeah, that connects Iowa and uh, Wisconsin. All right, so this part of Iowa is called Harpers Ferry, Iowa. That is where we are. I, I had to look it up. I, well, I remember seeing it. Um, not to be confused with Harpers Ferry, West Virginia, but this is Harpers Ferry, Iowa is where we are, and we're at Effigy Mounds National Monument. Uh, it's pretty much up, uh, pretty much at the corner of where uh, Iowa, Wisconsin, and Minnesota uh, connect. We're actually not too far from Minnesota. Another state I haven't been to, I won't get to Minnesota on this trip, um, but when I do the Minnesota High Point, obviously I'll knock that off. Um, but uh, just one new state, Wisconsin. Um, and then we have one more place to go here in Iowa before I head back to my uh, MBB tonight in uh, Northwestern Illinois, which, which is where I'm staying. So. All right, let's move on to the final viewpoint, and then we'll go down to the south unit, and I'll show you uh, uh, some things down there at, at the south unit of Effigy Mounds. A little bit different angle of the Mississippi. Big, uh, big bluff, and turn, turns around the corner there. Another, another branch. This is the quieter view. We can't see the uh, uh, the, the sandbar, but very peaceful. So that town is the town of. Um, I uh, can't pronounce it, um, but that's in, that's over in Wisconsin. I actually stopped there um, so I can get credit for Wisconsin because if, if I don't um, if I don't stop and put boots on the ground, it does not count. So I did that. I had lunch over there, and um, so did Wisconsin. Forty three out of fifty states. That town is called Prairie du Chien, Wisconsin. That's, that's the name of that town. I will put that down here so uh, you can get the, uh, the correct spelling. And then you also have Pikes Peak State Park um, over, over that way too, which, which I passed. So a lot, a big, big area for recreation, you know, boating, uh, obviously fishing, um, hiking, good, uh, good, a good recreation area. The Upper Mississippi uh, Wildlife Refuge and Preserve. All right, I'm gonna go over to the. We're, we're gonna go down to the South Unit there, and I'll show you some cool things over there, and then I will end the video uh, down there in the South Unit. It's only about a half mile from here, so it shouldn't take me very long uh, to get there. All right, so it's getting late. It's about three o'clock. I still have one more place to see. It's about an hour south of here, um, so. We won't have time to go over to the south unit, um, but there should have been, um, it's called the Marching Bear uh, Mound, and you can actually see, you can actually be able to see them because they, out, they outlined them with rocks. So that, that would have been pretty cool to see, but as it is, just press for time, but uh, I can say I, but stuff we saw today was pretty cool, the, the, the overlooks and the mounds up there. And it's part of my National Quarter series, so if you saw that video, um, I'll put that at the end for the uh, putting the quarter in there. So thanks for watching, and if you like this video and you like what I'm doing on the channel, please think about subscribing and following along on my adventures. I travel all over uh, the United States, uh, within Pennsylvania, and some bigger trips around the world. So come along. We'll see you next adventure.